What's up guys, Matt from footballboots.co.uk and today we're going back to day one for 10 of the best footballers to ever grace the beautiful game. We'll be counting down our top 10 debut boots for the likes of Zlatan, CR7, Neymar and the others you're about to see. So let's get straight into it. Starting us off at number 10 is the Liverpool legend, Steven Gerrard. And actually our inspiration for this video as he's just announced his official retirement. Making his debut in 1998 in a Premier League match against Blackburn Rovers, Gerrard steps out onto the Anfield pitch for the first time in front of 40,000 fans in the original Nike Tiempo Premier boots. That's right, not Adidas. Gerrard was a key figure for Adidas's Predator range throughout his career, wearing some of the best boots and colourways, especially throughout the 2000s including standout pairs with traditional accelerator, precision, mania and pulse models. Gerard also had a quick spell in the energy boosting nitro charge, however later went back to the Predator for the lethal zones model and was issued a pair of limited edition farewell boots which sold on eBay for over £40,000. Finishing his career at LA Galaxy in the MLS, Gerard wore the Predator's successor of the Ace 15 and 16 ranges in a mix of classic and modern colourways. Coming in at number 9 is the player in this countdown who arguably has the most interesting footballing career of all, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. But what boots did the legend wear in his early days at Malmo? Well, similar to Gerard, Zlatan actually also wore the original full leather Tiempo Premier, even though nowadays he prefers the more synthetic and lightweight Nike models. Ibra actually carried on with the classic feels by switching brands to Puma when he signed for Ajax and laced up the iconic King but in its SL model. It wasn't until Zlatan began to shine at Ajax before the centre forward opted for Nike's revolutionary mercurial vapour and the player hasn't looked back since, or has he? Sure, Zlatan has posed as one of the headline players for the mercurial brand, including appearing in the famed Joe Benito advert with Cristiano Ronaldo. Make sure you watch that video if you haven't already. But Ibra was also tempted by the newer Tiempo model whilst under management by current manager Mourinho at Inter Milan. His leather fields didn't last long though, as Ibrahim Rinch rightfully went back to the Mercurial range to wear various Vapor and Superfly models, which helped him achieve unparalleled success. The current day question is what brand and boot Zlatan actually prefers, as he's been seen this season in the Vapor 10, Vapor 11, X16.1 and X16 Plus Pure Chaos. Number 8 we have Luis Suarez, also known as the Gunslinger because of his famous celebration. But where did Suarez become one of the most feared strikers in world football? Well let's take a look at him for his first club of Nacional and he first appeared in the first ever Nike Mercurial Vapor in the burnt orange colourway. Still at the Uruguayan club, Suarez made the brand switch to Adidas where he covered his laces in the second generation F50 boots which had the iconic spider web looking design across the side panels and heel. Liking the feel of Adidas, Suarez moved on to the F50 tunit eye which again covered its laces but also featured a plastic and transparent heel counter for a unique look. A few more notable boots for Luis Suarez were the first and second Adidas Prime Knit boots which featured a unique knitted construction. After performing to the highest levels in the Adidas Adizero boots, Luis progressed into the three stripes X15 and now onto the most recent X16.1. He's also had a few games in the pure chaos which may remind him of his early days through the lace covered fields. So which player could come after Barcelona's Luis Suarez? Well, obviously Real Madrid's Gareth Bale. Posing as just one of many Southampton students, but undeniably the greatest of all time, Gareth Bale made his Saints debut in Adidas's F50 Plus tunic, which allowed for ultimate player customisation. Displaying his flair from a young age, Bale wore some of the more flash colourways of the F50 Plus tunic, and also wore a similar looking F50.6 for Wales. Moving to Tottenham, Bale remained in Adidas's boots and acted as one of the main players to wear the Adizero model due to his electric pace and dribbling ability. He also continued to not be afraid of daring colourways. One of Bale's most unique looking boots were the Crazy Light F50 Adizeros, which he wore after his record breaking round which would move. You would have to be good to wear them and luckily he was. Bale's boot choice actually prompted a huge talking point last season. Wearing what looked like the standard X15.1 in the black, white, pink colourway, the play had actually remained in the F50 Adizero, but made Adidas create a disguised version, similar to Neymar's Finnish Vapors. So what can you expect to see Bale in now? Well, it's Adidas again for the Welsh Wizard, through opting for the X16.1 in the sharp looking solar red colourway. Speaking of Nike's poster boy of Neymar, what did the fast approach in Brazil top goalscorer away in his first ever professional game? Well, it was Nike's Mercurial Vapor 3. Starting to make a name for himself as the next Pelé at Santos, Neymar's next iconic boot choice were Nike's Mercurial Vapor 7s in a Brazil-inspired yellow colourway. 
Still with Santos and also still with the no strips, Neymar progressed into the upgraded Vapor 8, which still remains one of the best Nike boots of all time through its soft Asian upper and bright Mando paint job. Having a quick stint in the limited edition green speed mercurials before finding them just too stiff, Neymar switched Silo into the Hyphen range, which proves one of the biggest boot talking points. Although acting as the headline representative for Nike's Hypervenom, Neymar commonly wore a disguised pair of Vapor 10s, however with Hypervenom finished graphics, sometimes even his stunning Jordan inspired edition. But what Neymar has most recently laced up in is the Dark Lightning Recurl Vapor 11. What do you think is the best boot for Neymar? Vote on our poll card now. Halfway stage and it's a player who simply can't be disliked. Let's take a look at what boots Ronaldinho first wore on debut for Gremio. A natural talent who simply played the game for sheer passion and love, Ronaldinho began his career at Gremio and PSG in Nike's Mercura R9s, which were the signature boot of Brazilian counterpart Ronaldo. What a boot and player R9 was, but Ronaldinho was also set to become one of the greatest of all time too, so after wearing the Tiempo Legend, Nike created a signature edition R10 model. Making his career-defining move to Barcelona, Ronaldinho produced some of the most exciting displays of dribbling and flair ever seen, whilst lacing up in his own signature edition Tiempo R10s, 10Rs and Dois models. The golden Ronaldinho Dois will forever be one of my own favourites. Most recently playing for Fluminense, Ronaldinho currently laces up in the latest Tiempo Legend 6 boot, which combines traditional materials with modern construction. Just missing out on our top three places is the incredibly gifted and intelligent Andres Iniesta. Making his debut back in 2002, Iniesta was another wearer of the Nike TM Pro Premier, which proves just how good the boots were as so many top level pros opted for the fold over tongue model. With Pep Guardiola saying how Iniesta was going to retire himself and teammate Xavi, the small in size midfielder changed leather for synthetic in the form of the Air Zoom Total 93, which featured the large logo on the instep. Adding some power to his ball striking in the Total 90 boots, Iniesta continued with the aggressive silo where he scored one of the most iconic Champions League goals with a sidewinding strike against Chelsea in the yellow and black Total 90 Laser 2s. What else has Iniesta worn for Barca in Spain? Well, when Nike released their CTR 360 silo, it seemed a perfect fit for the swivelling player, so he wore those boots for several seasons before upgrading to the present-day Magistas. Iniesta is now the headline representative of the Magista range, and whilst giving both the Magista Opus and Obra a spin, he's now happy in the Low Cut Opus 2, which features exposed dimples. So let's get into the top three of our countdown, and also complete Tic Attack of Football by putting Xavi next to Iniesta. Making his debut in 1998, Xavi first wore the most classical of all football boots, the Adidas World Cups. I think it's actually impossible to be a boot enthusiast and not have a soft spot for the World Cups and Copa Mundials through their premium K-leather upper and timeless fold over tongue. But it wasn't actually long until Xavi was tempted by the more modern technologies to complement his second to none passing range by lacing up in the Adidas Predator Precision. Loving the feel of Adidas's Predator Silo, Xavi continued with the accuracy enhancing boots for the rest of his career, with standout models being the red Power Swerves, yellow Predator Xs, pink LZs, blue Addy Powers, and finally his own limited edition Xavi boots, which we can see now. Leaving his childhood club after almost 20 years, Adidas handed Xavi a limited edition pair of Farewell Predator Instinct boots, which featured the passionate Catalan colours. Moving to Al Sad, Xavi continued to wear his unique boots which posed just as exclusive as Gerard's Special Edition Farewell Predators. Number 2 and it's the record goal scorer of Cristiano Ronaldo. Setting the world alight from day 1, CR7 has also remained in the Nike Mercura range since first puzzling opposition defenders with his dazzling footwork. Making his official first team sporting debut in October 2002, Ronaldo not only looked the part in a pair of Nike Mercura Vapor 1s, but also scored 2 goals in a 3-0 win setting the tone for his footballing career. Still in the Vapor 1, but opting for the stunning chrome colourway, CR7's career-defining moment came when Manchester United came to the Portuguese town and impressed the likes of Gary Neville, Rio Ferdinand, Ryan Giggs and of course Sir Alex Ferguson. Arriving at Old Trafford, Ronaldo remained in the Vapor 1, however moved on to the second gen Mercurial model at Euro 2004 and in a gorgeous golden colourway. Returning back to United, Ronaldo was handed in Mercurial Vapor 3 by Nike, which saw the play opt for most notably the red, white and white gold colourways. CR7 has received the most signature edition boots by some margin, with standout models being the rare gold Superfly 5s, Vapor 8 CR7s, Safari Superfly 2s, and were also up to Chapter 3 in his new story after the Savage Beauty, Natural Diamond and Discovery packs. So which player not only deserves to come in top spot of our debut boots countdown, but has also made several significant model and brand swaps throughout his career? Lionel Messi. 
Messi is without doubt one of the best dribblers the game has ever seen, but interestingly Leo made his debut for Barcelona in the more power themed Nike Air Zoom Total 93. The same boot as Ronaldinho wore, which emphasised how the Argentinian was seen as R10's protege. So although Messi is now the number one poster boy for Adidas, he actually wore Nike boots for the beginning of his career, seeing him lace up the Vapor 1, Vapor 2 and Tiempo Legend before switching to the three stripes. Whether it was a big Adidas contract that lured the player away from Nike, or whether Messi actually wanted to customise his boots, he decided to wear the F50 tunics which allowed for stud and sock kind of changes. Since moving from the American to German brand, Messi has been handed some headline signature edition boots, including the Ballon d'Or Adizeros, Platinum Messi 15.1s, Messi 1010s and Kryptonite Pure Agilities. So there you have it guys, what a collection of players, their debut boots and what followed. Let us know any thoughts you may have in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, cheers.